Did you guys see the board outside? Yeah, I did. So that's our new story arc board. So it's gonna be how everyone kind of knows not only like who's working on what content, but what craftsman is gonna be doing that content. Mm. And we're gonna like have little names. So like Bobby, Polly, Fabrice, Zach, and J.U. J.U.? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Here's what I'm proposing for the next Kickstarter. My idea, the one that I am so humble about, because I don't think, JV, you know the idea. Do you know the idea, JV? I don't know the idea. Do you want me to tell you the idea? I wanted to tell me the it's idea. It's a crazy idea. Let's say you have a six-sided die, mm. okay? I'm not gonna do this, oh, that's a shitty one. Let's say you have a six-sided die. The average of a six-sided die is actually a 3.5, it's not three. Mm. So if you add up one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six and divide by six, I'm pretty sure it's 3.5. Let me do another die for you. One, one, three, four, six, six. Have I changed the average die roll? The answer is no. Okay. Just to keep it straight. Okay. This die and this die roll on average the same result, on average. Mm. So what is the difference? This is a high variance dice. Let me do another one. You're gonna have to time lapse this. That is the array, that is the number array on a standard 20 sided die. Here's another die. One, one, one. Three critical misses. Three critical hits. So, this die that has the three 20s and the three ones, that's a high variance D20, it's a crit die. The average roll is the same as a standard D20. It's just three times as likely to critical hit and three times as likely to critical miss. But it's the same on average. Let's say you're in a role playing situation. You've got a barbarian, okay? He's on a cliff side. The dragon is just blasting the party with an area of, of like, with, a, with, a, with a breath weapon. Yeah. The barbarian, he's out of arrows, okay? The dragon swoops low, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh! No, no, you can laugh, you can laugh. It's fine, it's yeah. funny. No, he wanted is... my reaction of the no. dragon swooping low. No, the dragon swoops low. Yeah. The barbarian is going to leap off of the cliff yeah. with the two-handed battle axe and cleave into the back of the dragon and drive it into the ground and use the dragon to cushion his fall. And the only way no. he can do that. That is a, that right there is when you would bring out the high, the, the crit 20 or the, like, the mm. high variance 20. It's high variance because he's either going to kill it and save the day or, or he is fucking, fucking going into that ground. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So this concept is so cool with dice. And the thing is, they are still fair dice. Of course, you'd have to ask your GM, hey, Savage, I'm going to do this crazy thing. Can I use the high variance die? Like When you take that die out, it's like, oh, real. shit's about to get real, real. This high variance die concept could be an add-on to any die in the campaign. Oh, a $10 upcharge, just, you just click a thing, Custom. now it's high variance. And yeah. then, we could offer our existing resin dice in this Kickstarter, oh, which are normally $14 for a set plus an extra 3D6, wormwoodgaming.com, <laughs> right? You could do that and then just like a $5 upcharge on those to make them high variance. I think this is a great idea. Yeah. The only thing that's concerning me is like, you're taking your great idea and now your mm -hmm. dice are way less special. I don't care. Okay. I don't care at all. Okay. I just love this concept so much. It's I heard it's bad. Yeah. So this is what's hard. So sure, the shipping company. Dude, I'm skating here, dude. I'm skating here. I'm skating here. Jeez. I've not been happy lately with the quality of shipment that our customers are getting. So. Oh yes. boy, what is going on? How's it going? What? How bad is it? It's pretty fucking bad. Oh. So it's that. How, how did they crap. do this? What the? <laughs> what? 
This is, we got this is a, this is a TSA situation. Here's the killer. This is even worse. <laughs> it's broken on two different sides oh of the table. Oh my god! No. They broke this off. Yeah. And they, they broke off the leg on that side. So oh, go look whoa. Water that damage. side. And there's water Holy damage right here. That's yeah. water. Yeah. There's also water oh damage. Oh my god! Across. That is bad. How did they do this? This is insured. Ed, how does this work? So. That's a good question. How? Do, I mean, they destroyed this table. Yeah, no, I mean, we're sending them a bill, no question. Do we have to get Frank? I hope not. <laughs> Do we have to get Frank on this? Oh my god. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah. Which is awful. So, wait, this is a beautiful put, piece of walnut, too. These guys right now, what is the name of the, what, the company? Should we say the name of the company? Oh, I don't give a fuck. I give no fucks. I give no oh, fucks. It's so sure Express. That they dropped it and they, they literally like, just no, dropped no, they it. threw it. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a drop. And you break that side and this side. I don't. But this didn't happen at the customer's house. This yes, happened. It did in front of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my I god. Mean, that's that what is very happens. sad. Yeah, that's what that it is always happens. That's actually the last. only place that they've been yeah. being damaged during delivery. Oh, we had one guy's table. Chuck it out his window. They, one guy, they were carrying the table oh, sideways, and the reversible play surface fell out and hit the ground, and he had a home security system. Yeah, we have video. So we had, we yeah. could watch them destroy it on camera. Put it in life. We have. Yeah. It. Oh, we have that. Well, yeah. Cut well, we, yeah. to it. <laughs> So anyway, can it can so they, so they, on a positive taking, note? Yeah. These what are we doing? Fucking people. <laughs> well, I mean, we're taking care of everything. What are we making. doing for uh, the customer? I'll tell you. I can tell you. Okay. Short term. Short term, we're gonna make another table immediately. We'll get paid for this, hopefully, by sure or not. That may be up to Frank. Long term, what we're doing, I wanna get Wormwood White Glove going, where we are delivering the furniture. Because, because this is why we don't outsource. Well, yes. yeah, and, yeah, you know, we delivered it once. <laughs> We've delivered, actually, more than once. I We've done several say, tables. Like, Ed, me, and Jason did, like, we've yeah. done this before. Yeah. <laughs> With well, you know what the, the thing was though. We actually gave a shit. That's what yeah. I said. and that's what it comes down like, to. Craftsmanship's really good in woodworking, right? The quality can be told. Yeah. If there's a failure, if there a joint failure or wood failure, this is wood failure. So that means the joint was stronger than the wood, Which right? Which is a sign of proper joinery. Which yeah. is a sign of proper joinery. So the constru I'm very we learned that in episode four, season one. Yeah, oh, that's right. We learned so a properly done glue joint is stronger than wood. The wood was the weak point in the construction, not the joinery. So, very pleased in that regard. <laughs> um, right off the top of your head, one person in Wormwood right now to, to run Wormwood White Glove, who would it be? Oh, I, I just like the idea of Carl and um, Ryan D. Yeah. <laughs> Carl and Ryan D, the two of them, fucking Wayne and Garth, Bill and Ted. Getting out, fucking smelling like weed. Fish blowing their way oh, across yeah, yeah. the country. <laughs> Page. Supposed to be moving to furniture, and I've been here for like a year and a half now or so. What's your favorite? Love Kingwood. And out of the core woods, I love Spalted. What's something you want to pursue, but you haven't? I need to get back into drawing and painting again. I left design school a little over a couple years ago, and the goal this year is to actually start practicing again. What's your favorite project you've worked on? Probably the Diamato inlay. It was a combination of like veneer inlay as well as turquoise. It was really satisfying to see it all put together. If you went to jail, what one would employee would you call to bail you out? Ooh, so not Jay. Probably my second one would love, which is Michelle. Uh, you started Avatar recently, yeah? Yes, I did. Who's your favorite character so far? Tough, definitely. Mm -hmm. If there was a dance off at one, would, who would win? Probably you. You're fishing for compliments <laughs> here, you guys. <laughs> is Jay a good boss? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite material to him? I just kind of got the process down for the bone inlays. Would you consider yourself a boss? <laughs> no, never. What the <laughs> fuck? What's your favorite curse word? Um, one I probably shouldn't say on Worm Life. <laughs> say what? I like calling people raging c These yeah, are... The Wormwood sketch pencils are kind of live. Ready for a hot take? I think these are better than the ones that Ian did. Ooh, let me see, let me see. I think they are, look Whoa. it. I think they look better. They're, okay, so who made these ones? Me. 
The back is better than the front. The front's a little weird. Yeah? It's got, it looks like it's got like a little bump on this. Thing. Yeah, no, I can do that too. This is, uh, this, you know, the, the on this one's the front's better than the back. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has one he just pulled off the lathe. Like, just pulled literally off. right before us. Oh. So now you put yours down. Mm. And see oh, how it stands up. Tough. Oh, Alex. Oh, the front's a little wonky. Yeah. I think like there's a little too much pressure at the end there. It's like easing it a little bit. And then you've, you've lost a little of that like 45 chamfer. This one has a really good one. You see that, JV? See the end there, that nice chamfer? Oh, the chamfer, yeah, dude. Yeah. Michelle did such a good job, and these have been selling so quick. We brought Alex on like, what, two days after you started yeah. doing this? Yeah. It's like, we just can't keep these on the website. I need yeah. fountain pens. Fountain pens. That's all I want in my life is fountain pens. Whoa. Whoa. I actually Where's hate this one. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Do you like this? This? Yeah. No. It's fat. It's ugly. It's fat. You're good, Alex. You can go. Yeah, the people want I pencils. Love you. Let's get a pencil. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what is the plan? We are coming out with... Mm. Fountain pens are still a little tricky because you're so really. Oh my gosh, you've drawn so many. Yeah, Jeez. Make me look like a lazy designer. I don't do any drawings. <laughs> we have mechanical pencils coming. Yep. Yes. We have ballpoint pens coming. And then we have fountain pens coming. Mm. So we're going to have like a full suite of writing utensils. That's what Daddy likes. For, <laughs> for the next Kickstarter. Or the kick next Kickstarter where it the makes next, sense. Next, the next, next Kickstarter. No, the next, next. Next yeah. Kickstarter, maybe. Ooh. We have a we have so many Kickstarters and awesome products planned. I know. So all of us, including JV, on three, we point to our favorite. Let me look at it. Well, One, two, three, go. Okay, JV. Bobby, yours is ugly, dude. Nah, this what is, is that? <laughs> this curviness, Bang. I think, looks great on a short pencil. Yes. I think when you have a long pen and it's just nice and skinny. That looks classic. You want to make dowels and sell them to people. No. <laughs> just just I little dowels. Dowel. I want to turn dowels on the lathe. <laughs> These are good with like a nice pen uh, kit. They look really sharp okay. in a dice vault. Okay. Nah. With, with, with foam All cut right. to its, okay. it'll, look, it'll look sexy. Okay. Where's yours, you fucking fuck? Me and Michelle, <laughs> me and Michelle, people with taste, <laughs> we picked the same one. That's a good indicator. Oh. It is a good indicator. My second was JB's. Oh, there My we go. second was also JB's. There we go, baby. Yeah. Here's the question. How the fuck do we get a Wormwood logo on the clip? Oh, we're Ooh. working on it. So actually, so wouldn't it be cool if we just used the sword as the clip? Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>